Well, let me tell you something, folks. In 1996, Mankato, Minnesota got a new resident. His name was Tim Waltz. Now, Tim wasn't just any fella passing through. This man was about to shake things up. He had a passion for football. He came to make a difference. And boy, were they in for a ride. This is the Tim Waltz story. Now Mankato West High School, they had a football team, all right? But winning wasn't exactly in their vocabulary. These boys hadn't won a state championship in, well, ever. They were stuck in a rut, a cycle of losing that seemed impossible to break. The team had spirit, they had heart, but they didn't have that winning mentality. They didn't know what it felt like to be on top. The year before Tim arrived, they finished with a dismal 0-27 and 27 record. That's right, 0 wins, 27 losses. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. It was tough being a Mankato West Scarlets fan back then. The team was the underdog's underdog. They were the team everyone expected to lose. But you know what? Sometimes all it takes is one person to change everything. One leader, one believer, one coach who sees the potential hidden beneath the surface. And that's where Tim Waltz stepped in. He saw a team that was beaten down but not broken. He saw a group of young men who just needed someone to believe in them. Tim Waltz wasn't afraid of a challenge. In fact, he embraced it. He knew that turning this team around wouldn't be easy. It would take time, it would take effort, and it would take a whole lot of heart. But Tim was up for the challenge. He knew that these boys had potential and he was determined to help them reach it. Now, Tim didn't waltz in and demand to be head coach right away. Nope, he started as the defensive coordinator. That's right, he had to earn his stripes. He had to prove himself to the team, to the school, and to the community. And you know what? That's exactly what he did. Tim knew that before he could teach these boys how to win on the field, he had to teach them how to win in life. He focused on building relationships with each and every player. He wanted to understand their strengths, their weaknesses, and their dreams. He wanted to know what made them tick. He didn't just bark orders and expect them to follow blindly. He listened to them. He respected them. He treated them like young men, not just players. He created an environment of trust and mutual respect. And you know what happens when you treat people with respect? They respect you right back. Tim knew that building a winning team wasn't just about X's and O's. It was about building character. It was about instilling values like hard work, dedication, and perseverance. He knew that if he could teach these boys these life lessons, the wins would follow. Now, Tim wasn't just some drill sergeant barking orders. He was a mentor. He was a father figure. He was someone these boys could look up to, both on and off the field. He understood that coaching wasn't just about teaching football. It was about teaching life lessons. See, Tim knew that these young men were facing challenges in their lives, challenges that went beyond the football field. He wanted to be there for them, to support them, and to guide them. He wanted to help them become not just better football players, but better men. He taught them about accountability, about owning up to their mistakes and learning from them. He taught them about the importance of teamwork, about working together towards a common goal. He taught them about the power of perseverance, about never giving up on themselves or their dreams. Tim's impact went far beyond the football field. He was a positive influence in the lives of his players, helping them to become better students, better sons, and better members of the community. He was more than just a coach. He was a role model, a mentor, and a friend. Section 5. The Waltz Way Now Tim had this way about him. He didn't just tell his players what to do, he explained why. He wanted them to understand the reasoning behind every drill, every play, every decision. He believed that when you understand the why, the how becomes so much easier. He called it mental toughness. He instilled in them a belief that they could achieve anything they set their minds to. He taught them to focus on the process, not the outcome. He encouraged them to control what they could control and not worry about the rest. His coaching methods were unorthodox, but they were effective. He used humor to keep things lighthearted. He used storytelling to make his points relatable. He used real-life examples to illustrate his lessons. Tim's coaching style was all about empowerment. He wanted his players to take ownership of their team, their performance, and their destiny. He believed that when you empower people, you unleash their full potential. And that's exactly what he did with the Mankato West Scarlets. Section 6, Turning the Tide. Now, turning around a team with a 0-27 and 27 record, that's no walk in the park. It takes time, it takes patience, and most importantly, it takes belief. And Tim Waltz, he had belief in spades. 
He believed in himself, he believed in his coaching staff, and most of all, he believed in his players. In his first year as head coach, the team didn't exactly set the world on fire. They still faced their share of losses. But there was a different feeling on the field, a different energy. The boys were playing with a renewed sense of purpose, a fire in their bellies that hadn't been there before. Then came the 1999 season. This was it. This was the year everything changed. They started the season two and four, not great, not terrible. But Tim, he saw something special in this team. He saw a group of young men who were hungry for victory, who were tired of losing. And you know what? The team started to believe it too. They started to believe in themselves, in each other, and in their coach. And that's when the magic happened. Section seven, champions of the North Star State. Now the rest, as they say, is history. The Scarlets, they went on a tear. They won game after game, shocking everyone but themselves. They clawed their way to the state championship game. Can you believe it? From zero to 27 to playing for the title. Now the championship game, that was a nail biter. Back and forth, down to the wire. But you know what? Those boys from Mankato, they dug deep. They fought hard. And in the end, they emerged victorious. State champions, can you believe it? The crowd went wild. Players were hugging, jumping, crying tears of joy. It was a scene straight out of a movie. And standing there on the sidelines, beaming with pride, was Coach Tim Waltz. He had done it. He had taken a team that had never won a state championship and led them to the promised land. But you know what meant the most to Tim? It wasn't the trophy. It wasn't the accolades. It was seeing the look on his players' faces. The look of pride. The look of accomplishment. The look of pure joy. That's what made it all worth it. Section 8, The Coach's Legacy. Now let's hear from some folks who were there. Coach Waltz, he believed in us when no one else did. He taught us that we could achieve anything if we worked hard and supported each other. He wasn't just our coach, he was our mentor, our friend, our biggest cheerleader. And it wasn't just the players who recognized Tim's impact. Tim had this uncanny ability to connect with his players. He inspired them to be their best both on and off the field. Tim's legacy at Mankato West High School goes far beyond the championship trophy. He created a culture of winning, a culture of respect, and a culture of belief. He showed those boys that anything is possible if you set your mind to it and work hard to achieve it. His coaching success wasn't just about X's and O's. It was about building relationships, instilling values, and empowering his players to reach their full potential. He was a coach, a mentor, a friend, and a true leader. Section 9, From the Field to the Capital. Now, Tim's story doesn't end on the football field. This man, he went on to bigger and better things. He took those leadership skills he honed on the gridiron and brought them to the political arena. That's right, folks. Tim Waltz became a politician. He served in the U.S. House of Representatives. And then, in 2018, he was elected the 41st governor of Minnesota. Can you believe that? From coaching high school football to leading an entire state. Now, some folks might think coaching football and governing a state are worlds apart. But you know what? They both require leadership. They both require vision. They both require the ability to inspire and motivate people to work together towards a common goal. Tim's experience as a coach, it taught him how to build relationships, how to communicate effectively, and how to lead with empathy and understanding. These skills, they served him well in the political arena. Section 10, Lessons in Leadership. Now, Tim Waltz's story, it's more than just about football. It's more than just about politics. It's a story about leadership. It's a story about the power of belief, the importance of hard work, and the impact we can have on the lives of others. Tim's journey teaches us that leadership isn't about your title or your position. It's about your character, your integrity, and your willingness to serve others. It's about inspiring those around you to be their best selves and empowering them to achieve their dreams. His story reminds us that no matter where we come from, no matter what challenges we face, we all have the potential to make a difference in the world. All it takes is a belief in ourselves, a willingness to work hard, and a commitment to making a positive impact on the lives of others. So, the next time you're facing a challenge, the next time you're feeling down, remember the story of Tim Waltz. Remember the coach who took a losing team and turned them into champions. Remember the man who went from the football field to the governor's mansion. And remember that anything is possible if you believe in yourself and never give up on your dreams.